Okay, so I'm calling the Kane Police Department. This is Derek J. Freeman here. I'm seeing if my concealed carry license was approved. And I'll be recording this call, so I'm going to let them know. Hello, my name is Derek J. Horton. I'm audio and video recording this call. I'm just calling to find out whether or not my license to conceal carry was approved. Thank you. It sure has. It has? Okay. It's not in with all the others that are approved. I think they've detected the child that is them. He's the one that's up. So okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Yes, I'm here. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. If not picking up, would you like to leave a voicemail for him since it's been over 14 days? I would, yeah. I, you know, I haven't received any mail uh, regarding this issue, and I know... Right, I remember that, but if uh, I was not approved for any reason, I would have been notified by mail. So I'm curious okay. why it wouldn't be in with the stack of approved papers. Yeah. So, and it's not. so, do you want to leave them with them? I would like to, yes, thank you. Okay, hold on. Thanks. Hello, my name is Derek J. Horton. I applied for a concealed carry license about three weeks ago. I haven't received any mail regarding this issue, and I'm just calling now for the first time to see whether or not my concealed carry license application was approved. Um, my number is 856-701-6516. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so as you can tell, uh, you followed that whole 
a conversation. I called the Keene Police Department. The woman at the front desk said that my application was not in with the stack of approved uh, applications. However, I have not received any mail regarding this issue. And last time when I was not approved, I was notified by mail. Uh, as per the law, the um, Keene Police has to get in touch with me uh, within 14 days, 10 business days. Um, you know, if I was not approved and they have to state the reason why. So it looks like I have been approved, but it's really strange to me that the detective, Michael Goodchild, the one responsible for uh, approving or denying these applications, is out of the office from August 4th to the 20th. That's a heck of a vacation. So uh, I just will be now trying to get in touch with Mr. Lieutenant McLaughlin uh, regarding this issue, because that was the recommendation made by Mr. Goodchild in his voicemail. Hi, this is Derek J. Horton calling again. I am audio and video recording again. I listened to the voicemail of uh, Mr. Michael uh, Goodchild, and he recommended that uh, people who are calling about this issue contact Mr. McLaughlin. Would I be able to be transferred to Mr. Lieutenant uh, McLaughlin, please? Thank you. Okay. Hi, my name is Derek J. Horton, and I'm audio and video recording this call. Um, calling on the rec. Um, okay, then I guess you can hang up, but I was told to contact this number uh, by Michael Goodchild um, regarding a concealed carry application. I haven't heard back from that. Hello? Hello? Okay, so the timer keeps ticking up, so it looks like I'm still connected to this call. Hopefully I'll be redirected to the uh, clerk or something. I don't think this is, this is strange. I haven't encountered this before. I think it's strange that this man says that he doesn't consent to being recorded, because I'm pretty sure all the calls that go into the police department are recorded. And not only that, he's a public servant. I can't imagine what he would have to hide. Seems like I'm being redirected. Hello, this is Derek J. Horton calling again regarding the concealed carry application that I filed about three weeks ago. I just um, was directed to Mr. Jim McLaughlin uh, personally and uh, was redirected after speaking with him. He uh, said that he would not consent to being audio uh, recorded uh, for this phone call, which I... I <laughs> I need some help regarding this issue, and so I do want it to be on the record. I want to make sure that, um, you know, my application hasn't gotten lost or that uh, nothing illegal has happened with it, so I just want to make sure that I'm collecting all this information on the record. Uh, so I'll be trying to contact him again, but if uh, you get this message, Mr. Goodchild, I hope that you can reach me. My number is 856-701-6516. Thank you. 
So that was strange. I'm going to try calling again, and I'm going to um, inquire to see if I would be able to speak with someone else regarding this issue who will speak to me on the record. Hi there, yes, this is Derek J. Horton calling again, and of course I'm audio and video recording still. Um, I was uh, directed to Mr. Goodchild after speaking briefly with um, Mr. Uh, Lieutenant, uh, oh gosh, I've forgotten his name, McLaughlin. And um, he, he, it was strange, um, we spoke for just a moment and he said that he didn't consent to being audio and video recorded, but aren't these calls recorded anyway? I mean, are, aren't all calls to the police department recorded? Um, to dispatch. Oh, I see. I see. All right. All right. Well, I, I just thought it was a little strange because I, I do want this to be on the record. This is, you know, this well, is a part. You're just talking. I'm just the secretary. Yeah. So I don't know who you want to speak with. Oh, well. You want to speak with a captain. But, uh, I'm not. Yeah. I just want to get an answer on my concealed carry license. You know, I'm just calling to see if it was approved or not. And I know Mr. Goodchild's not in until the 20th. It's pretty long to wait that long okay. for an answer. All right. All right. Let me um, see if I can get a captain to help you, okay? Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. It's Tuesday, August 7th at around 1.30 p.m. I'm wondering what Mr. McLaughlin has to hide that he doesn't want to be on the record regarding this issue. So the secretary said that uh, she's going to put me on the line with a captain. Hopefully he'll be able to clear this issue up. It's been over 13 minutes on the phone. Hi. Hi, sorry to keep you holding. Um, I just went, both the captains are out of the building 
right now, so I spoke with Chief Leola. He would like me to get a phone number where someone could call you back on this. Okay, great. Shall I expect okay. a call today? Um, yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, my number is 856-801-5500. That's me. Okay. Either myself or someone else will be getting back to you. I very much appreciate that. And may I ask your name, please? My name is Pat. Thank you so much, Pat. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. So strange.